Ugh. Okay. So now we're gonna go collect some. Talk to Chloe. Chloe, who's up here flying her spaceship. Chloe, what are you doing? Yes, I know I have enough side cards. Hi, Chloe. That looks like fun. It's work. I'm testing a low orbit space plane design. Okay, why are you testing a low orbit spaceship design? Dogen, my man! And some chick. Into a hole in the girl's cabin. I'm hiding. And I thought... oh, Nils. Okay, well, you're in love with Nils. But because together with the cowboy dude right to back. make him jet oh, make him yeah. jealous. What? I mean he'd see my new boyfriend James staring back. Poor James. Hey, Yoka, why don't you and your little goggles go poke around in someone else's private business? What? Nils? Exactly. Uh, hey, Dogen. It's okay, Nils. Dogen. I'll break you away from her evil vexen spell of trying to spread gossip. I'm spreading rumors. Oh god. I'll gossip you. I know, I'm such a gossiper. Oh, the crying. The crying. And here is our first bear. This is my favorite bear in the game just because he cannot get you and it kind of shows you just kind of how dangerous bears are. They. All the animals here. On Whispering Walk Summer Camp, have telekinetic powers. The all the bears here have telekinesis. Oh, sweet! I did not know that you can climb that there. Anyway, it just kind of sucks that the bear has telekinetic powers and can sweat at you. And they also can pick you up and hold you for the main bear's body to get over to you and actually hit you. Now the crying. Is actually no is actually Maloof. Get the fuck out of there and stop your bit damn crying. You're so nice, dude. It's so annoying his crying. Save small children. Call them bad names while you do it. If he wasn't such a weakling little punk, he could have just beat up Bobby Zilch. Granted, that's kind of a spoiler to who put him in there, but. I think I'm going to get a lot of enjoyment out of punching the crap out of Bobby Zilch. Mm. It's like every time I see him, I'm just going to punch him a, a bunch of times. I'm like trying to think of stuff to talk about, but not wanting to spoil the game. Granted, Maloof and um, and Russian guy, I forget what his name is. They, Benny gets his ass handed to him, but that's Benny. Benny's just there. Now, can I actually get on top of it this time? Hey! 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 So I actually can get on top of it now. And there's a bunch of side cards around here. Um... I'll actually get these later just because levitation makes everything either, like I said, either easier or harder. So now we're in here. Looks like one of the buttons is missing. Oh, looks like one of the buttons is missing. Gee, I wonder what we should do. It's glowing. Gotcha. <laughs> I'm punching it, but it's not doing anything. So I'm, go I'm going into my inventory. So now Can I set it on fire. I don't have fire yet. Oh, right. Minor <laughs> Minor problem. Ah, uh, no, I wouldn't want to set the GC GCP GPC on fire. But I'm going to put no, the you button totally here. Do. You and totally it's do. going to set it's going to make this thing move. And I giggle like a giddy little schoolgirl. Anyway, let's go in here. 
I wonder what Agent this is. Nine? I'm here no for the advanced that. training. Oh, there we go. Oh, I said Agent Nine, I'm here for the advanced training. What the hell is that? Oh, that's a card. Whoa. What the hell? Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Anyway. Uh, what I'm actually looking for, I cheated into getting last time I was here. Hmm. So where is it? Uh, there actually is a scavenger hunt item in here, but I'm trying to remember which side of the room it was on. Do you remember which item it is? Uh, it's the um, there it is. It's the it's the fossil. The hmm. last time I did this, fudge buckets. That's not hmm. what I did. The last time I was here, I actually stood on top of the file cases that you actually can break, and it's really funny because Sasha makes um, crude remarks about how the, the cleaning lady and stuff. But, anyway, you can actually get over here, and you can get the fossil a little bit early, but this is where it is. Anyway, let's break one of these things. Okay. He didn't say anything. So what are we gonna learn? Bending spoons, burning stuff. Ah yes, thank you, Rusty, for helping me clean up. I helped him clean up, Mickey, by breaking Aww. a box with my fist. It's like the Karate Kid. <laughs> All right, hi, not Sasha. What are you doing on this orange machine? I've been hearing a lot about head explosions. I was wondering. Science, Rasputin. That is what we practice down here. Not parlor tricks. If you are serious about exploring the possibilities of your mind, step up to the brain tumbler and we'll begin. What? Brain tumbler? Oh my god. This thing looks like a giant laser beam machine. I don't think I trust this bitch. And not Sasha. I mean the brain tumbler. It always looks like something a lot bigger than what it actually does, but whatever. Okay, brain tumbler. This is actually a very important device. So, what's you this set it on fire? fire. Uh, no, you don't want to set the brain tumbler on device, fire. We will send you deep I into do. your own psyche, where you should find well, then you won't be able to finish the insight game. and power. Excellent. Tumble away. Now just That's assuming it's on the me, of course. Hurt. Really no, there's some device. Happen. Yeah, there's some devices that you actually can't set on fire. Like you can't set people on fire. Wow. I mean, you what? can attempt. Like? Oh no, they get mad. It's like tr using levitation on people. They get mad at you. So you've tried to set people on fire? Yes. <laughs> I believe you. I've tried so myself. Still not developed for you. Okay. Those doorways remain just out of reach. But the more you explore the mental world, the more connections you will form. Right now, the only unconscious world you can enter is that one. Your own. Okay, so Step through it and we'll continue. Basically what Sasha is saying is all these doors are basically all the minds that you have entered in you have will have entered in the game. Um coach only enters uh, mind actually is among one of these doors, but you are not allowed to actually revisit it right away. So, um, each of the signs on the outside of the doors represents a different, um, where's, where's brain? It's this one, okay. So, each of the doors, uh, the signs outside the doors represents a different, um, a different device that you can collect. This, looking at the basic braining uh, door, um, the little tag up in the right, no, left hand corner, I can't, I am so bad with my rights on my left. In the left hand corner is the tag which represents all the bags, which means when you come here and look at all the things in Collective Unconscious, you can tell at a glance what you have collected. Underneath the um, tags are for the bags are the safes, and on the left, I mean on the right, god damn it, <laughs> on the right, the top one is cobwebs and the bottom one is figments. Figments are a bitch to collect all of them. Alright, now let's go actually over into 
the next swirl, which is the brain tumbler experiment. So I take it this isn't one of your videos where you're trying not to swear. Shh. <laughs> Rasputin, can you hear It's my job me? to make life difficult for you. Sasha. I know. And I'm where not the dyslexic one. <laughs> I know. That's me. But I'm not sure where. Tell me, what can you see? I see a rundown gypsy caravan. You're just saying all this Do stuff so that I'll be confused it? later. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's where I was born. I see. Compelling. Raz, why is the gypsy caravan in the middle of a fog? Just otherwise you'd know exactly where they were. That would be bad. Oh, granted, they were gypsies. Sasha. Going inside the no, caravan. I'm not going inside the caravan. Inside. Okay, so let me explain the teleporter guys a little bit more. They actually teleport you to the collective unconscious. They don't actually directly teleport you to um, to another um, person's mind because you cannot travel directly to another person's mind from one person's mind. You can only travel directly to other places you visited within uh, people's minds. Anyway, this is this this is one of the safes in Ravs's brain that talks about how he got away from where he was. And I think Raz is the one that's on top of his mother at the very top. Although actually this has never been explained who's the person in the big coat with the top hat that hands him the flyer. But they're all training. His dad's lifting a hundred pounds in each hand like a boss. And his mom's lifting 120. Like an even better boss? Well, no, he's got like a hundred pound dumbbell weight in each hand. And the mom's got like her daughter on her foot with an eight pound weight upside down bouncing. Mm. And Raz has a 70 pound weight that he's just kind of bouncing on his feet while reading the pamphlet. <laughs> oh. And uh, he takes the world's smallest pony and he rides it out like a boss to Whispering Rock Summer Camp after hitchhiking in a truck with loggers. He stole a pona. Not a, it's too tiny to be a pona. Baby a pona. The world's smallest pony. A pona's not small. I'm not sure. Uh-oh, I'm in a place where it's fuzzy. I'm inside. Oh god. Uh -oh. What? What's that movie called? No, with the white noise. Uh, where the kids uh, where the uh, kids staring at the TV. Tell me what is happening. Uh, shit, I'm inside the I'm, I'm inside the TV. Hmm. How little? Really little. Raz is not the time to Do be claustrophobic. No. I like how he starts freaking out more after no. smothered like you're buried alive. No! Ah, get me out of here! Can you find your way out? I can't see anything. Can you fight your way out? Can you fight your way out? Yes. Huh? Punch everything. No. He said with your psychic fist rescue, but carefully. I am not gonna fight. I am a pacifist. Punch your way out, Rasputin. I'm gonna fight. I don't care. Now, hurry. This test is costing the taxpayers a lot of money. 